New Orleans man says the NOPD made a bad situation worse after he had been carjacked. He claims police never showed up to investigate the crime. And as Paul Murphy reports, the victim also says instead of being helpful, helpful, a fifth district officer berated his girlfriend and then hung up on her. Ryan Clute says he was in the 1500 block of Congress Street in the St. Claude neighborhood, loading donated toys into a running car. The New Orleans musician says a man suddenly rushed him from behind. Slammed my head against the car, pushed my friend out of the way, and then, you know, before we were able to grab him, uh, slipped into the car and just drove off. The carjacking happened around 8 last Thursday night. Clute says his friend's iPhone and his iPad were in the car. They were able to track the stolen vehicle in real time using the Find My Phone app on both devices. Clute called 911 to report the carjacking and the car's location. I said, can you send a unit out because we have a fix on the vehicle's location. He said, well, I'm going to have to finish writing out this report. Clute says New Orleans police never arrived on Congress Street to investigate. So he went to the NOPD's 5th District headquarters just four blocks away to report the crime. I'm trying to explain that we know where the car is right now. If you can bring a unit out, we can go and, and track it down. And they, they seem not, not interested at all in, in tracking down very concrete leads. Clute's girlfriend, Katie Myers, owns the vehicle, a 2019 red Kia Rio. She called the 5th District the next morning to check on the status of the investigation. Myers says the officer who answered the phone here at the 5th District berated her, told her the carjacking wasn't her problem, then hung up on her when she asked the officer for her name. It felt really bad. It felt really isolating, and it felt really just like uh, in a city where things already feel just a little scary and a little desperate. It made us feel a little bit scared and a little bit more desperate. Eventually, the carjacker dumped the iPhone and iPad in New Orleans East. Right here off of Reed Boulevard and Prentice. Clute uh, says the last known complex. location of the vehicle was Looks near like North I Galvez and, and Port like Streets. The NOPD is now investigating the crime and the way the couple was treated by the department. We have received a complaint concerning the behavior toward a citizen by one of our officers, NOPD Superintendent Sean Ferguson said in a written statement. A formal investigation into the incident is underway. This type of behavior does not represent our professionalism and who we are as a department. It will not be tolerated. And I think that officers are really quick to try and command respect when they themselves are not giving that same respect to the people in the community. I needed help and they weren't there. They said it's not our problem, dude. As of this weekend, police had not found the stolen vehicle. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. So take a look. This is a picture that shows the type of car that was stolen. It was a 2019 red Kia Rio, Louisiana license plate number 288DWG. If you've seen it or know anything about this crime, call Crime Stoppers at 822-1111.